Here's Chief Meteorologist Chris Boone. So Texas has been one of the little wild cards not participating in the December weather. Again, cold for much of the country, but we still have that warm pocket of warmer air that's been along the Gulf Coast. and That's been allowing us to warm up as well. We're still seeing those temperatures lingering in the 50s and much cooler up towards the north. That's where we're going to start to see that cold air start to work its way down towards us in the Concho Valley. And again, it's going to take some time and it's going to modify a little bit. So we're not going to see those freezing temperatures, but we'll see a lot cooler air as we go into the weekend. Again, seeing some of those upper to mid-level clouds moving in from the southwest. In fact, we're now starting to see some fog along the Gulf Coast out towards areas along Houston and even towards San Antonio. Doesn't show up on the infrared satellite because it's about the same temperature as what the ground is. You can definitely see it with the humidity. Humid values out there, again, because of that 100% saturation, much drier the further west you go. Again, that's why we're just seeing those upper-level clouds. Again, much drier across the area as well. Again, it was a warm one today. Three degrees above our record 83, our new record high for this day. Again, that breaks the old record set back in 1970 of 80 degrees. Warm to start off the day. In fact, 20 degrees warmer than what we would normally see for this time of year. Usually we start to see those mid-30s during the overnight hours. We start off in the upper 50s. So right now, again, going into the past couple of hours, seeing that big cool down once we got past sunset. Now we're seeing those temperatures settling into the upper 50s and lower 60s. Very similar to last night. We're probably not going to see a big change as we go through the overnight hours as well. 60 degrees here in San Angelo with those southerly winds, 9 miles per hour. Again, relatively dry across the area. Dew points only in the 40s. Again, 50s for 50s and 60s for much of the area. 63 in Brady, 61 in Menard. A couple 50s out West 55 in El Dorado, 55 in Sonora, 59 out in Mertzen. So again, not a whole lot of changes as we go through the next couple of hours and through the rest of the evening. Temperatures going to stay pretty close to where they're already at. 57 are overnight low. We're still watching for those increasing clouds coming in from the southwest. Again, all those mid and upper level clouds. Otherwise, winds have been pretty calm. They're going to stay relatively quiet through the evening. But as we get into tomorrow, we're going to start to see those winds really picking up, gust up to 25 miles per hour. Again, another possible record high for us tomorrow with a high of 84. Again, the record for this date tomorrow is 83 degrees. So even if we don't break it, we could easily be tying that record. And again, mostly see clear conditions with some clouds still coming in at the upper levels. Windy conditions really start to pick up as we get into Friday afternoon. Again, with wind gusts getting into 25, even 30 miles per hour at times. But once we start to see that cold front move in early on Saturday, it's going to be bringing in those cooler temperatures. We're going to get a little bit of a break from the winds as well, at least as far as the gusty winds go. And it'll be a little bit more calmer. So again, we're watching for those chance for a stray shower as we go through the early morning hours. Most of us are going to be staying dry again, just about a 10% chance for a stray shower. Otherwise, the bigger rain chance is well off towards our east with this cold front. So we're going to stay relatively dry here in the Concho Valley, but we will get the cool down with that cold front, and we're going to see those clear skies moving in behind it as well. First shot of cold air comes through, and it quickly warms up back as we head into the next work week. But we'll be starting to watch off towards the west with another chance for some cooler air working its way here into the Concho Valley. Otherwise, seven-day forecast shapes up like this. Warm to finish up the week, breezy temperatures in the mid-80s, well above average. The big cool down comes through late Friday, early Saturday. That's going to pull the temperatures a little bit closer to where they should be, feeling very December-like for the weekend, but doesn't last a very long because we're going to warm things right back up into those mid-70s going into Monday with breezy conditions to start the work week.